welcome to the special album release show of Radio Drive's new album, Before the Day is Through, exclusively on the Net Radio Broadcast Network. Hello, this is Dan Coleman. I'll be your host on this special broadcast show featuring Radio Drive and their new album, Before the Day is Through. Radio Drive is an alternative pop rock band featuring Kevin Gullickson as the engine behind Radio Drive. Kevin has won international awards and nominations for his music. The music of Radio Drive has been aired on radio around the world alongside major artists, topped indie charts, has received rave reviews, and has been featured on web zines and radio shows around the world. Kevin's music has been used on shows airing on NBC Networks, Animal Planet, National Geographic, Comedy Central, Fox Channels, History Channel, Spike TV, and the Discovery Channel in the USA and around the world. Over the last 10 years, Radio Drive has released seven full albums, two EPs, and several singles. Now, the eighth full album release before the day is through, we're pleased to have Kevin Gollickson of Radio Drive with us to talk about the new album. Welcome, Kevin. Hey, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. It's great yeah. to be here. Awesome. Tell us about your new album. Yeah, it's uh, it's my most ambitious project to date. What with uh, COVID in 2020 and all the social distancing, I squirreled away in my home studio and had a lot of time to work on the music, uh, work on the songs, rework them, just spend a lot of time putting it all together. What is your songwriting process? Sometimes I'll just pick up a guitar and start strumming and see what comes of it. Other times sitting down to the piano. A couple songs were written that way, just sitting at the piano. Quite often I'll get an inspiration, an idea that just hits me, maybe a lyric, a melody or something, and I'll capture that. And then later work on that to develop that. So it, it comes in a variety of ways, but... Uh, I just just let the creativity flow. Sometimes it takes hours for this all to come together. Sometimes I have it instantly. Can you tell the listeners a little bit of how do you go about recording your songs? I'm thankful to have my own home studio. So typically what I'll do is once I have the song structured somewhat, you know, with some verses, chorus, and all of that, I'll start to record the basic tracks just to capture the idea, get the melody line going, and then I'll just start working it from there, maybe come up with an introduction, um, maybe the guitar hook if I don't have one already, or the piano hook, and then just start working the song with the arrangement. Quite often, I'll record a whole bunch of instruments and then just start muting tracks because there's too much going on. I don't really know if the piano is going to be the feature or the guitar. That all kind of comes about over the, the several weeks and months that I'm working on the song. That's amazing. Thanks for sharing that. Tell us a little bit about concept behind your newest album, Before the Day is Through. So this one here, of course, was written during 2020 and the early months of 2021. So much going on in, in America and, and here in Minnesota, where I'm from, you know, what with social distancing, COVID, the disruption on every level. And then to compound all that, the social discord, especially here in Minnesota, there was a lot going on. So much of, of that I tried to capture in my songs just a little bit. Now, I didn't come off preachy or anything or trying to make any bold statements, but you can hear it in the lyrics, little subtleties here and there. So there really isn't any one theme, but certainly all that was written and created was under the most unusual circumstances this country or this world has ever been in. So I'm sure that has found its way into the music one way or another. Yeah, that's amazing, Kevin. Thanks for sharing that. I read that you worked with uh, studio mu musicians from around the world uh, on this latest album. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so of course, you know, with social distancing, I wasn't able to, to connect with people locally, everybody staying home. But there's this website called Air Gigs, which is absolutely amazing. Musicians from all around the world offering their talents to do anything and everything with recording. So I connected with an amazing drummer, session drummer out of Italy I've worked with before. Violin player from Russia, cello player from Venezuela, a singer out of Italy, and even a, another violin player out of Jericho. 
Awesome. Let's get down to the album now. Tell us about the first song. It's Who I Am. What is this song about? Of course, you know, it's a, it's a love song. It's it's an up-tempo one. I wanted the album to start with, you know, with a real bang. Basically just about that long-time commitment of love. I always believe that love is more than just feelings. Of course, feelings are involved with that, but then it's really a commitment. And so this song here, just basically saying, I'm always going to be there for you. You can depend on me. You can rely on me. I will always love you. So who played on that song? So this one here, of course, uh, on this song, as well as all the songs, the drumming was done, uh, Matteo Andrigo, my Italian session drummer, I call him. Uh, he's been great. I've worked with him on the last few albums and recordings. Super amazing to work with. Um, I'll create the drums as MIDI when I'm recording. So I have the idea of what I want and I'll send that to him and he'll match it and add his own twist and flavor to it. But he'll nail it 
typically on the first take. He, he just nailed it. That's me on the guitars and the bass guitar, the piano, and the vocals. I see that you signed to 12 Story Records. Tell us about that. Yeah, that was just this year. So uh, myself and a few partners decided to put together a label and Radio Drive being the first artist band to be signed to the label. We do have the vision down the road to be signing other artists and developing with them. But for now, just to get things off the ground, we're, we're launching this new album as the first release for 12 Story Records and uh, things are going great. Uh, they've got their own PR people and social media people to work all of this, so I'm thankful for that. We've got some wonderful resources at 12 Story Records, so I'm really excited about that. How about this next song, In the Now, and what is that one about? This one here is about living in the now, living in the moment. It's something I have to continually remind myself. Sometimes you got to just let go of the past. Don't worry about the future. Uh, you know, especially during 2020 with all the uncertainties and everything. So much fear and worry of the future, but you got to let go of that. You can't focus on that. Just live in the now. Be with the people you love. Appreciate what you have. Be thankful for each day. It, it really was something that resonated with me, uh, especially during this time. So I wanted to capture that in a song. Ooh. to be with you before the day runs out of time before the sun goes down I'd like to be around you I'd like to be right by your side let's not wait
listening to a special broadcast of Radio Drive's new album, Before the Day is Through, available now at iTunes, Amazon, and most online stores around the world. This next song, Giving the Best, has got me thinking, what is this one about? It almost sounds like you're making a statement of sorts. Yeah, and again, just talking earlier about all that was happening in 2020, not to mention the elections in America, so much turmoil, not only with that, but the social unrest, COVID, all the fear. To compound all of that, all of the press, social media, putting out articles and stories that I just didn't know if, if is this true? Is this not? I mean, there, there's so much that seems to generate fear and division in, in what I was reading. Uh, and I, you just couldn't escape that. You know, I had to ask myself, what's true? What's the truth? I kind of captured that a little bit in the song, the essence. I didn't want this to come out and be like some bold statement, you know, where I'm slapping America in the face or anything like that. But it's it's kind of like my way of just asking, what's true? Is this a lie? This Because so much of what you read, you're, you're reading one story and then a completely opposite story, both saying this is the truth, but there's no way they can both be true. So you have to kind of dissect that and, and digest it. But I don't know, I, I kind of end up just throwing it back up again. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so I don't know, it's just, you know, and then like on the chorus, you know, giving the best of her life, living on the edge of a knife. I mean, it's, it's kind of like what I saw so many people trying to make the best of it, but the tension behind it all. I mean, I think everybody deep down has the same philosophy. They, they just simply want life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know, that's all we really want. So that's really kind of what was I was trying to capture in the song. You know, one of the lines is, you know, about walking together. Let's just walk together. You know, let's just see our, our common ground. What can we agree upon? Let's just start with that. Not so much what divides us, what we're at odds about, but what brings us together? How can we build community here? Awesome. Let's listen to Giving the Best. Don't you know that it's a 
You're listening to Kevin Gullickson of Radio Drive as he talks about the new album, Before the Day is Through. You've worked with some amazing producers over the years. Gene Paul, the son of the legendary Les Paul, multi-Grammy award-winning engineer who credits include the Rolling Stones, Led Zeppelin, Eric Clapton, U2, and many more. Chris Garcia, who credits include Adele and Katy Perry, Stuart Epps, whose credits include George Harrison, uh, Bill Wyman, Jimmy Page, Elton John, Led Zeppelin, Oasis, and many more. Robert L. Smith, Academy Award winning and Grammy nominated producer and engineer, whose credits include David Bowie, Aerosmith, Paul McCartney, and many more. And now on your latest album, you worked with Brendan Nakora, Grammy and Academy Award winning producer and engineer, whose credits include Foo Fighters, Nine Inch Nails, Billy Idol, and many more. So what was it like working with Brendan? It was absolutely amazing. He is so wonderful to work with. One of the things he offered was unlimited revisions. So as he started with the first song to do the mix, the drums and vocals were absolutely stellar, the best I've ever heard on my songs. Um, we did a little bit of tweaking on the guitar parts, um, some of the sounds and things just to kind of dial it in. But they were just subtle things, kind of more in my taste. I mean, he did an absolutely amazing job and it really didn't need any revision, but I was probably being a little bit picky when I asked for guitar parts to be a little louder or this or that, but he was so gracious to make whatever changes I wanted delivered like the next day. He would send me something to listen to. I would listen to it, offer some suggestions or changes. He would send it right back the next day. Absolutely wonderful. This next song, No Time to Stay, I like the line in the song, come on and let a little love come shining in. Does that have anything to do with what's going on in America and around the world right now? Yeah, again, back in 2020, all the social upheaval and discord and with the elections, there was just so much hate being thrown around. And so I, you know, that, that line came out. It's just, hey, let's everybody just take a deep breath. Let a little love come shining in. You know, let's just work this out. <laughs> Open your 
Led Zeppelin influence here. Oh yeah, Led Zeppelin has been a huge influence. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love the heavy drums with John Bonham and guitars and just the amazing vocals of Robert Plant. Huge Led Zeppelin fan, absolutely. Who are some of your other influences? Early on, of course, the Beatles. Uh, I listened to a lot of Monkees when I was a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> love that stuff. Uh, and then in later years, um, listened to a lot of heavier music like Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath and Deep Purple. Then in the 80s, U2, a lot of the British invasion. R.E.M. was a huge influence. Um, more recently, I love Coldplay. Absolutely love that. And the Foo Fighters, of course, absolutely love their sound. Their latest album is absolutely amazing. Not a bad song on it. Everything about it. I love the guitar parts, the sounds that they dial up. Absolutely amazing. This next song has a bluesy feel to it. Were you influenced by any blues artists with this song? When I first started playing guitar, I listened to a lot of songs that were easy for me to play along, you know, like Chuck Berry, early rock and roll kind of songs, typically three chords. Mixed into a lot of that was a lot of blues, the 12 bar blues. Listened to a lot of B.B. King and of course Led Zeppelin having been influenced by the blues and even the Rolling Stones, a lot of blues influence in the bands that I liked. So going back to what influenced them, I just love listening to that kind of music. So yeah, you can hear that in this in this next song. Time to go thick and thin. Time to turn face the
listening to Kevin Gullickson of Radio Drive as he talks about the new album, Before the Day is Through. Be sure to follow Radio Drive on Spotify. Let My Love Be the Proof is the next song on the album. This one goes pretty deep. Tell us what is the story and inspiration for this song. This one here, I started off just sitting at the piano and playing some chords that resonated with me. I started singing a line, put the song together. It's about a person losing focus on what's important to them while they're trying to achieve their goals. I, I learned that you have to keep what's important as the prize, as the goal, as you're moving forward. What good is it if you achieve all this success, but there's nobody there to share it with? It's just a song about recognizing that and readjusting that perspective in, in one's heart to keep the eye on the prize, on the goal, and just recommitting to that. Oh. Um. 
Radio Drive can be found online at www.radiodrive.net. On Facebook at Radio Drive. On Twitter at Radio Drive Music. On Instagram at Radio underscore Drive. The string parts sound amazing. Who played the strings on this song? I worked with an amazing professional violinist out of Russia, a uh, cellist out of Venezuela, a fellow named Daniel Gonzalez. Absolutely amazing. I basically gave them some directions on what I wanted the sounds and parts to be, but gave them complete freedom to come up with their own arrangement. So Natalia came up with three parts that all complement each other, and Daniel, of course, came up with his cello part, and they were absolutely stunning. So I was so thrilled to hear what they did with this song. As you know, Kevin, I'm a huge Led Zeppelin fan. I'm especially excited about this next song on your album, Thank You, off Led Zeppelin II album. Was Led Zeppelin a big influence on your music? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. They, uh, I used to listen to them round the clock, definitely. I remember hearing the uh, album with Stairway to Heaven. Totally blew me away. The song is very emotional. It's a very deep song for me. I just, It's such a sweet song, such a powerful song. I mean, there were so many Zeppelin songs to choose from, but that one has always stood out to me. I just something I've always just sat and played on the acoustic guitar for years and years, and I just wanted to capture that and and um, put my own spin on it and put it out on this album. I thought you did an awesome job on it, by the way. Thank you, thank you, Dan. Why did you choose to do a cover of this song of all the many Led Zeppelin songs? In this song. It talks about even though the mountains crumble and fall away, everything falls apart, I'm still going to be there, I'm still going to love you. So much of 2020 fell apart for so many people. And so this was a very comforting song, very comforting theme that, um, you know, there's going to be that foundation to stand on, that foundation of love that just won't be shaken. So here it is, folks. Radio Drive's doing a cover of Led Zeppelin's Thank You.
sun refused to shine I would still be loving you When mountains crumble to the sea There will still be you and me You and me You and me Radio Drive, Before the Day is Through, available now at iTunes, Amazon, and most online stores around the world. This next song has to be one of the more unique songs on the album, The Other Side. The string parts are so interesting. Who played on the string parts? Through air gigs, I connected with a violinist out of Jericho. I wanted some type of Middle Eastern, Moroccan kind of sound, something that I, I heard on some... Coldplay music, and of course early Beatles. I wanted to capture something like that here on this song. Listening to the lyrics, it sounds very spiritual with a double meaning. What was the inspiration around this song? Yeah, interestingly, this song I wrote years ago out in New York City, one of one of the first that I wrote when I moved out there. I've had this song for quite a while, and while I was doing my recording, I was going through some of my older songs, and this one really stood out, and I wanted to, to redo it. I'd never recorded and released it before. So I wanted to put more of a contemporary spin on this. Yeah, it's, it's layered in double meanings. You know, there's some references to my wife in there, some spiritual references. The other side could easily be um, just the other side from the hallway to my wife's apartment when we were dating. That's actually where it started, you know, just the solid door. The apartment that she lived at in New York had a huge, huge, big metal door. When you open that up, on the inside, when you close it, there was lots of locks. That's where I got the initial idea, just entering the other side of this big door. But it can certainly go deep. The other side, after you die, you know, going to heaven or anything like that. You, you can read all sorts of stuff into it. So I kind of wanted to have a little mystery layer in there. This song has already won a nomination. Tell us about that. The Hollywood Music and Media Awards honored me with a nomination for Best Alternative Rock Song. Excellent. Let's hear the song, The Other Side.
you're listening to a special broadcast of Radio Drive's new album, Before the Day is Through, available now at iTunes, Amazon, and most online stores around the world. You Held Me is the next song on the album. Reading the lyrics, it almost sounds like the prodigal son theme. Is that what you had in mind when you wrote it? Yeah, something like that. You know, over the years, trying different things that never seemed to work out. You feel like you're going in a circle, kind of a dead end. You're, you're swimming against the tide. It feels like you're just being sucked under. Anyone who goes through something like that needs to come to a realization and just self-examination. What am I doing wrong here? What do I need to do to change? I think it's very healthy to stop and recalibrate your life reassess what you're doing. If something's not working, if you see a red flag, take notice of that and make some changes. So if things aren't working out, if I'm like at a dead end, I just stop and consider what's going on here. Why isn't this working? What do I need to do to succeed or make this work? That's really the essence of what this song is about. Tell you about 
The next and last full song, In My Dreams Tonight, stands out to me as such a gentle and flowing song. There's such a variety of sounds and styles on the music. I almost hear some Beatles influence from Abbey Road album. Yeah, definitely Abbey Road. I love that album. I love George Martin's classical string arrangements. That album was a huge influence. This song won an award for the World Songwriting Association Top Finalist for Best Alternative Song. Tell us about that. Yeah, that was earlier this summer. I had the songs ready and 12 Story Records submitted to some of the uh, contests and awards. Just thrilled to receive that one from the World Songwriting Association for Top Finalist Best Alternative Song. I was thrilled, thrilled to receive that. Kevin, it's been a pleasure visiting with you here on the show. Thank you, Dan. We wish you all the success. I'm sure you're going to get many more Music Ward videos, and I'm looking forward to hearing your music on your new album before the day is through. Thank Very you, excited. Dan. Excellent. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to the special album release show of Radio Drive's new album, Before the Day is Through, exclusively on the Net Radio Broadcast Network. Radio Drive's new album is available now at iTunes, Amazon, and most online stores around the world.